Hey guys, Ryan here for Vector Motion Graphic Studios, and welcome to another very exciting uh, tutorial for uh, HitFilm 3 Pro. Yeah, that's right, uh, I'm doing a tutorial today in HitFilm. Now, just HitFilm 3 Pro just came out, like, legitimately, like, three days ago. So, I'm trying, I'm, I'm just trialing it now before I buy, just in, you know, in case I don't... I know I've never been let down before, but, you know, I still don't know a lot about HitFilm and how to work it, but, you know. So, today we're doing a tutorial. Um, so, I thought I'd compare between HitFilm's green screen keying out and, um, and After Effects. So, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make the green screen in After Effects. So, um, uh, I'm just going to start all over again, and... There. Oh, sorry. Right. So I've got my footage here, which is just my plain green screen, and now I'm gonna get just a uh, image. It doesn't really matter what image, really. Uh, let's go try and find an image in my pictures. Let's just go to this. Doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to click on the green, uh, the green footage of your green screen. Um, at the moment, I'm only using this because my actual green screen broke during um, this production thing I was doing, so now I'm using old style. So, anyways, um, so you want to click and drag it onto it. Now, you can either click it onto video 1 or video 2. I'll click it on video 2. Um, if yours doesn't actually say video 2, it just says video 1, audio 1, just when you're doing this, and it's like, oh, I only have video 1, just bring it, like, up, and then it'll, video 2 will come. Um, that's because when we click this, we're going to click and drag that down onto video 1, and extend it, and now that's underneath it. Okay, so now we can actually get started. Now you want to click on this on your footage and click make composite shot and just name this whatever you want I'll name it green screen and you can just keep all the settings there so it goes the same with HitFilm Ultimate as well um, so now that we've made this you're gonna rename this uh, footage you, know, you don't have to and get put this down and rename it background or BG um, okay, so you're gonna click on your footage, and now we're gonna get the green screen. Now you're gonna go over to effects, right? And um, sorry, uh, you're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. Now, if you're on uh, HitFilm Ultimate, you go down to presets, and it'll say 3D effects, film looks, and then it'll say tools. But in the new update, it just says 2D effects. So once you go down to tools, and then just look green screen, or you can just type it up. Uh, in the new HitFilm 3 Pro, you go to 2D effects, and now there's a few good things here, blue screen, key ultimate, uh, green screen. So we're going to grab the green screen and put it on your footage. Um, if you are using with a blue screen, you just use blue screen. And uh, yeah, Obviously it wouldn't work with mine, but there's not much difference. Just <laughs> keying out the blue. Okay, so once you put that on there, you're gonna just, we're gonna get started. So, at the moment, you can see it has keyed out most of the green. And now we're gonna go down to uh, controls. All right. So, once we go down to color, I want you to go down to color difference key, and this is what we're gonna use. We're gonna go down to view matte. Now, if I've sh I've done a tutorial um for the green screen of After Effects, and it says uh, out info mat, alpha mat, something like that. But um, and then you click it, and it goes black and white like this. Now, as again, the white is something that you see. The black is something that you want. Now we're gonna fix this by min, meaning black, and max is the white. So we're gonna bring the ma the minimum up, just a tiny bit because we don't want it too much. And we're gonna bring the white a lot, and then the black a bit more. Obviously, you can't do this super well. Now, don't worry about this bit because um, 
you don't, I mean, you don't need to worry about it too much. And then just click off. Um, okay, so, and also screen color, you can change that to blue as well if it's more bluish, or you can change it to red, but then that cuts out me. Just keep it on green if you're using a green screen. Like I said before. Uh, okay, so now what we're going to do is go back onto the footage. Now what we're going to do is, like, you can see, you're going to just cut everything out. So you're going to go to here to freehand mask, or you can just press F on your keyboard. Oh, sorry. Command F. <laughs> Obviously not. Um, now you can either do like the triangle masking technique or you can just mask around your character like as I said before triangle technique is from there there, there there uh, And you really don't need to do anything, but um, But I'm not going to use that you can also Do just around your character Um but I'm not actually going to do it around me because I move a lot. So I'm just going to do it around the good parts of the green screen. I should have said that. Get it right and um, start keying it out. And then it doesn't really matter at the top. And we're done for that. Now it obviously looks better. Um, now, there is, like, I, I wouldn't say hit films easier to use, but, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's it looks better either, but I think with After Effects doing the keying, you have to concentrate a bit more. Like, there's more things to get right. With this, you just go matte, blah, 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 and then you're done. Uh, and you could, you could fiddle around with this a bit more. Uh, but you know you don't want to fill around with it too much, and basically that's is like that's all you need to be honest. Um, this if you zoom up in your hand, you can't really see any um, green spots. Maybe you could fiddle around with it. I mean, I shot this in like really low light as well. God, stuck in zoom mode. There we go. Alright, so, um, yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you can also have a look at the new short film I'm producing soon, hopefully, uh, down here on my website. And just go follow the links. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah. See ya.